Here's what sixty thousand dollars per month in rent get you in Puerto Rico. If another rapper OD, they might try to charge me. Miley person coding, they look at me God. Whipping up Bugattis, now I finally got it. Speaking on exotic. Rob the bank. Bro does it the best. Hey, I'm gonna give you the house tour and break it all down, but this isn't gonna be one of those whack ass vlogs where I'm just flexing, flexing, flexing. I don't like those. I'm gonna sprinkle in good business advice, how you can make money, a little bit of my story, how I'm able to afford $60,000 a month, all that stuff. I know this might seem outrageous and crazy to some, but as we walk through this house, I'm gonna help it make sense for all of you. I've been in this e-com game for nine years now, and uh, you just kind of keep chipping away, building, 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 and then one day you wake up and you own real estate, you rent real estate, you just, I don't know. So step inside real quick. This place is amazing. We're at Dorado Beach, Ritz Carlton, great house, great family house. The gentleman who rented it to me, absolute legend. I'll keep his like info off or whatever, but just a lot of cool people and just a different environment and vibe. So step into the living room. I really love the spacious, open area. Now I also pay eight grand a month in Miami. So I have these two different things equating to almost $70,000 a month in like fixed overhead or whatever, but it's still just, just rentals. So at the end of the year, you could walk away from it. Now I am locked the f in on this opportunity on this moment. I'll talk TikTok shop and some other things throughout this vlog of how you can make money. But if you're following me closely, you're going to see me between PR and Miami. In the past, I've traveled a lot, you maybe seen some other vlogs. The summer I was like in Seattle, Jackson, New York. Um, but right now we are locked in on the things that matter. This will be home base. So, but you'll see how I start to kind of optimize my setting in my life and, and, and um, like with my workspace and my training. I'm very regimen orientated when I'm trying to make progress. And then I'm experimental and like, like to do new shit that disrupts patterns when I'm in a different mode. But for the next of the year, you're gonna see what that level up looks like. So again, spacious living room here. There's a separate casita that I'll take you over to where I have my office. I have, uh, you know, I'm setting up my training space, my, my Muay Thai upstairs. I'll take you upstairs here real quick. We'll check out the, the bedrooms, the balcony. I don't know how many square feet we got, but we got square feet for show. Master bedroom here, closet starting to get built out. Again, when I talk about like simplifying and creating, like again, you know, I got, I, I want my presence confined to Puerto Rico and Miami. Cause you gotta start doing things like building out separate closets and all that, you know? Available on topshelfgrind.com. We're coming kind of hard in the apparel game though. We're making it happen this year with Top Shelf. It is a, uh, it's Top Shelf season in my life. So you're gonna see a lot of that, you know, personal brand will remain strong, but you're gonna just see that movement chipping away. <sighs> a little balcony. Every time we step outside, the camera goes, woom. But this is the amazing part of the house. Check, check all this out, the pool. You can see the casita up on the other side. This is all ours. Owner wants uh, 15 mil for this one. So not a cheap house. When you get people talking about owning real estate and like, why would you ever rent? Why would you pay that much? Just buy it. I think they fail to, there's a lot of different pieces that, that goes into that. So when you're renting a place, you don't have a, a, a permanent liability. When you own a home and you get a mortgage, you have a 30 year committed liability that's not making you money. No income coming from that. And so the thought process is do you, on a house like this, do you want to take, you know, 20, three, three million dollars and commit that to this within a payment of something like, I don't know, something crazy. It's a $12 million loan. So whatever that is, I mean, that's, that's 60, 70. It's probably a hundred thousand a month, right? Maybe not. I don't know. I'm just off the top of my head, a little office, a little extra office area, but now you're committed to a hundred thousand dollar a month red on your personal profit and loss thing. And you're out $3 million that maybe could have been in a different, this is a little guest room. Um, but now you're out $3 million that could have gone into a different asset, right? And so that's really how I think about real estate nowadays. You take that on a smaller scale. Uh, here's the girls' rooms down here, I'll, I'll leave them. But that's how I think about real estate on a smaller scale. 
Like Miami's a great example. Do I wanna buy a $2 million condo in Miami when I can rent it and walk away from it and use that base fund as something different, right? Because of course, I mean, I can, I can buy some of this stuff and I'm not coming up out of pocket on a $15 million home anytime soon until you follow my master plan of how it will be, how you can make a lot of money with it too. Oh, real quick, top shelf hat. A lot of cool apparel and merch coming. I've been just so focused on the quality of getting these things right that like it, it takes time. It's been delayed, we've been kind of working on it, but a lot of it's getting, getting close. And so um, now we're coming, we're coming for show. So I'll take you over to my office real quick. And then a whole separate casita over here. And my guy Kevin's in here cooking. More top shelf merch. What you doing right now? Look at it. He's editing in a fucking TikTok. He's making money from his fucking iPhone. Yeah, you're, you're sitting here making faceless TikTok content. Yeah, because I just create the voices in using Eleven Labs, and then I just go to CapCut, import that voice, record the product, and that's it. How much have you made on this? You just said it in the interview, but. That one around 70,000. 70 fucking thousand. <laughs> so Kevin's been working for me for three years, and it was before all the TikTok stuff. He, he just sees my operation and the games we're playing and all that. He sees the TikTok thing going well. And he goes, hold on, I should be doing this. And he, he didn't even tell me at first. He calls me no. and we're talking about it. He's like, yeah, I made uh, 48,000 last month. What was it, the first big month? 48,000, yeah, right? it was in March. Yeah. March on Kingmaker. I was like, wait, what? 48,000, hold on. Um, Cause I, I don't pay him 48,000 a month. I'm gonna be honest with y'all. I'm gonna be honest, sorry, Kevin. Uh, so <laughs> new side hustle unlocked, but for real, like a, a lot of my content, you'll hear me talk about it. I want you all dialed up here. I want you elite mentally. But when you talk about life maxing and leveling up your character and all the different components that are going into that, obviously money is at the fucking center of it. And this is one of those windows in time where my guy here could be a millionaire by the end of the fucking year, he plays it right. And the skills to start from literally nothing. So this TikTok shop thing in general, you start with an iPhone and no skills, right? No like skills. You can start on TikTok shop with none of that. And so as we're trying to build the brands, we're like, hey, fuck it. Let's, let's get as many people in this as possible. We launched Your First Dollar, which is a $50 subscription community, and in Spanish. What, how That's the first time, like no one two, is actually teaching this. Tu, tu primer dollar. Dollar. Yeah. I'm gonna get my Spanish right. <laughs> but no, I mean, you know, I'm here in Puerto Rico. We've been thinking about ways like how can you make a positive impact on the island? And my two guys here are living proof of the money that can be made from this. And maybe we could turn this into a little e-com hub. So 50 bucks a month, irrelevant. We could have done it for free, but the thought process was like, people don't take free shit seriously. So you get in there, you make your fucking money back in the first month, 10, 10 times over, ideally, especially on the Spanish side, it's wide open. Um, I'll drop both of the links to that. But um, also keep an eye out for him and I's full video that'll be out. You'll probably see this vlog after the video, so the video will be up, but we break down the exacts, the step-by-step -step of how to get started in the world. Uh, again, a little content den down here, part of the casita. And I'll take you upstairs real quick where I'm keeping the office. I should get into live streaming. I would love to do live streaming. I don't get that popped off though. But all right, this will be the little desk. My assistant's actually working on a new one. What I try to do every place I'm at, but similar desk setup, right? So it can like same monitor, same keyboard, and just a place where I can immediately plug in and find my kind of stationary flow. That's how you, when you get into the upper levels of life maxing, if you will, where you're trying to like keep your foot on the gas with everything, physical training, da, 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 the efficiency becomes really important. So I don't mind dropping, my whole setup's like probably 10 grand. And I get one in each place I'm in. I got one in Austin too, my business partner. And it just allows a level of efficiency and flow. And then up here, we're turning this to the little Muay Thai dojo. We'll step out here real quick. Shout out Yakao. Shout out my trainer, Josh, too. I wanted to take you day in the life, but I, I trained really early this morning, Muay Thai. Maybe I'll throw some B-roll up there. <laughs> Can't look at that pool. Pool is nice as fuck. I might start swimming. Routine is what's gonna drive you forward. All right, routine 
when you talk about mindset, discipline, focus, all those different little things, like committing to them in a conscious way. If you've been following me close, if you're not, IG, you can see that every day, like I, I train, I eat good, I work, I do the things I need to do. But I build it around that. And here in Puerto Rico, it's no different. Coach comes over, first thing. My guys come over the afternoon, we work, you know, chef. I dial that shit in and make as much progress as possible. Miami, similar deal. Coach there is dialed, same workstation, same content flow. Like, you just systematize, you fucking scale, you lock in, you make it happen. We'll continue this day on the life here. I think I got my boys Tyler and Carson coming over later. Rob the oh, bank. Bro does it the best. Does it better than me. <laughs> Shit's crazy, bro. I mean, yeah. shit, man. You let this shit speak for itself, bro. What the fuck? This is crazy, bro. Next level shit. Top yeah. shelf behavior. Top, top shelf shit. Dorado's so elite. I didn't realize, bro, like with your fault, you probably see this with your fault on a ton. I wasn't in tune with it till like the last month or two. I've been doing these YouTube rants. Mm -hmm. And like when I talk to people about minds, I didn't realize how fucking weak most people are mentally. Yeah. Do you see that? Yeah. Like a ton. Yeah, no, it's crazy. And so even like you're like, I guess just the people I roll with, they're usually like highly motivated and like willing to do the work, but like your personal brand, so even I talk like TikTok shop, like motherfuckers with no skills can make some money on there or whatever. Right. But it's like, you have to post how many fucking, I, I'll never forget you telling me you're, what made you good at content for everyone watching my content, Mount Rushmore. He's like number one on there. He's showing at the top. Yeah. How many fucking reps, bro? Like, I mean, really, like... Okay, yes. Okay, this is actually crazy. I'll give you even deeper look at this shit. The first video that I ever filmed, I showed Carson. I don't think I've ever showed anybody else. It is the... Bro, the worst video you have ever seen. It's me in, like... The, this dark ass room and I'm like whispering, like reading off a script behind my phone talking about like, hey, do you guys want to learn about day trading? Or And like I'm stuttering and I'm looking fucking f so weird. But yeah, that was my first video and I never ended up even posting that video. And then my next video was something even dumber. It was me talking about how to make the best like popcorn. All in all, Long story short, I sucked at content. I was really, really bad at it. And how I got good at it was just repetition. And that's like how you build literally any skill ever. It's just re repetitions over and over and over again. If you wanna get big in the gym, you gotta do reps. If you wanna be good at basketball, you gotta be in the gym every single day for hours on end. It's the same thing with social media. It's the same thing with trading. It's the same thing with business. You gotta get reps in. And that's the only way that you're gonna learn. So like. Now, I think back to when I was even like blowing up on TikTok. I was in Utah and I was driving and I was filming TikToks while I was driving. Swear to God, there was people, if you guys know me back when I was like super small following on TikTok with like 10,000 followers, people would be like, bro, I love you, but stop filming TikToks while you're driving. And I didn't care. And I would just keep filming while I was driving. At one time, I literally got pulled over when I was in California. I got pulled over for making a TikTok and I filmed the TikTok. I was like, just got pulled over for making a TikTok. The cop didn't give me a ticket. I peel off and then I start making another TikTok. That's literally what I did. And now I'm like one of the most comfortable people on social media. The amount of crazy shit that I post on TikTok and on Instagram, I should probably limit it a little bit because the digital footprint is getting kind of insane. But all in all, bro, like it's just repetitions. Like nowadays, I mean, if you you guys are making excuses, I run four companies. I day trade in the morning for like two and a half hours a day. And then I go to the gym and I'm also making 24 TikToks in a day. On top of that, making a YouTube video every single day, along with just now daily vlogs and also running four companies. And all they see is the fucking Barabbas and the life and they don't know what went into it. And, um, man, now that, that was fire, bro. 24 TikToks a day. Talking, like, like, yeah. it's, the it, other thing too, it's a real skill, and it's a skill that develops over time. And, like, that, you know, that, that's the style of kind of, I've been trying to get better at. I'm horrible at it. Like, people think, oh, like, you're, you have this and that. It's like, no, like, it takes serious effort. Yeah. I don't do 24 TikToks a day. If I did 24 a day, I'd be good at, at that, for sure. Um, no, I appreciate the love, like, that you fucking need to hear that. You need to hear that. One more shout out that one. I'm just gonna end this one cold because it's night here in PR. But just can we shout out my guy right here? Carson. Drop his hand on there. 
low key, like I talk about branding and all that sh stuff and design and all that. And he's low key, like sneakily, one of the best branding eyes and guys you're ever gonna come across. So follow him on Gram too and uh, enjoy these next couple months for about to run.